I'm polishing the idol. Oh, hey, Percy. Hey, Thomas. How you been? No, Hank, everything's not doing fine. I mean, there's nothing to steal. Wait, what's that? Oh, that's my money jar. And how much is it in there? Uh, $12.50 in coins. Wow, Percy, you're rich. So is that the idol that's going to be our god? Yeah. And look, it's almost complete. I just have to find its missing leg. Well, how about it can be the god with one leg? Oh, that's a good idea. Wait, what was that? Thomas? Oh, yes, James? I think I know who it is. Who? It's Moses. Oh, Moses? Why Moses? Can it be you? Me? I don't know. Wait, what is Moses doing up there? Hey! Hey, Moses! Hey! Hey, Moses! Did God put you up there? And did he say you have to fall off? Good one, Thomas. Silence! These are God's Ten Commandments that you should follow. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Well, there goes my two days' work. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's house, thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor every, anything that is thy neighbor's. Oh, come on, I love doing that. Yeah, tell me about it. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Well, I need remember Sabbath classes again. Thou shall not kill. Oh, come on! Honor thy father and thy mother. What the sucks? What, what kind of commandment is that? Thou shall not steal. Oh, man! Well, sorry about that, Thomas. Hey, Moses, what commandment do you think I'm not following? Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Wow, Moses, wow. That is the worst thing I have ever heard. Thou shalt not take in the name of the Lord thy God in vain. What? Why are you looking? Well, sorry, Spencer. Rest in peace. <sighs> Done! Oh, yes, just a beautiful day to me and myself. Hey, Thomas! Yeah, James? Guess what? I stole something from Walmart. And what is it? Let me show you. It's this. What is that? Oh, it's one of your ancestors' wheels. Ah! Oh yeah, he died. He died in uh uh 1320 BC at uh 1020 p.m. So this is all that was left of him. Oh god. Oh god. His name was St. Thomas Pierre. Remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was the toughest tank engine in my family. Just kidding. It's just a mock-up. I lied to you. Ah! Wait, what was that? All right, Gene, do you go... Wait, don't steal other anything else from Walmart while I go see what the noise is. Sue yourself. Yes, I stole Justin's flute. Now, time to play it. Wow, that is inexplicable, Cash. Out! Out! I will never come back! Get out! Get out! Get out! Gee, Percy, you seem to be off the hook. What seems to be the problem? 
Do you know what that stupid dog so did? What? He charged me one hundred dollars just for a streaming box. Wow, that is pretty expensive, and that's hard to save for. I know, right? And for the double, it's two hundred and fifty. Just for the TV. Wow. Yeah, Thomas. Anyway, see you later. Aha. Cash, 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 cash. Ah, uh, what is it, Thomas? Wait, I can finally talk. That's good. I don't care about you talking. I want free cable. Ah, okay. If you insist. Two hours later. All right, buddy. I, uh, you, you did the cable. Now time for your paycheck. Oh boy, my pay. I wonder what it's gonna be. All right, buddy. Here's your paycheck. Thomas, what is this? Oh, let me count it for you. Buddy, come back. This is your paycheck. It's a uh, four dollars and uh, uh, twenty-seven cents. That's all I get. Look, I need the rest of this for the PlayStation Five. I mean, the pre-orders are out, so yeah. Okay, I guess that's fair. Oi, right, buddy, if you want your paycheck, since we live in the same home, and you go to Trainland Soda every day, and if you need this, your paycheck will be right there, okay? Okay. All right, now let me go. Engine meeting! Thomas, what do you want? It's better be quick. I hope it's not of that tank engine nip again. Tank engine nip. <laughs> Ow! Okay, 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 I'll get to the point. Alright, guys, so I bet you're wondering, why aren't we circling around next to the TV? Yeah, why are we? It's because... We got free cable! Thomas, how did we get free cable? Well, let me show you. See, I signed up a contract with Cash. And then, uh, yeah, I, I made him do all the cable work. So that way, hey guys, look! It's a birdie! It's a birdie! You see that? Bye, little birdies! Alright guys, anyway, let's get to the main point. And just get to the punchline. Alright, so we got the free cable, and then I called you guys here. So you, it, you excuse uh, me, me, Percy, and James are gonna watch TV. But can we watch too? Get your own darn TV. Aw oh, man. Alright guys, let's go watch some TV. Uh Wait, guys, the news is on. Do, 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 do. Breaking news, okay? So, Roku players are out right now. And guess how much they cost? Twelve bucks. Twelve bucks? I need to get that! Thomas, you paid the guy half twelve dollars and fifty cents. You're like, uh, I don't know. Four dollars short? Oh, that's okay. He'll get over it. I can... Well, I can steal it for you, Thomas. Well, uh... I don't think that's a good idea, Percy. I'll go. Well, I have to talk to the reverend of this church. Hey, Thomas. <gasps> Spencer, you're the reverend? Of course I am, Thomas. I'm also the baptizer, the pastor... The, the elder of the IOG Sodor Church. And what does IOG stand for? Oh, it stands for the Israel of God uh, Sodor Church. Wow, that should be an actual place in Baltimore. I know, right? Hey, Cash, get out of this conversation. Anyways, Thomas, what seems to be the problem? Well, uh... I paid cash 
four bucks and eighty two cents for cable. I see, I see. And uh Hershey's gonna steal the new Roku player that's out right now. Oh, you mean this? This Roku player? Well, how did you get it? A uh, pre order. See it has an, an HDMI cable, um uh, a USB port. And there's a reset button, and I don't know what the heck it does. I think it resets the Roku player. Yeah, good thinking. Anyways, you can have it, Thomas. I had several of those. Well, thanks. Uh, anyways, I'll be on my way now. Wait. Why is stealing a thing? I mean, everyone steals everywhere. Didn't Moses tell us that in 1220 B.C. that he showed the Ten Commandments? I even have the Bible. And the uh, Ten Commandments is on Exodus chapter 20, verse 19 and uh, 15, I think. Well, show it to me. All right, here it is. Well, you actually have a real Bible? These are hard to find. I know. And look, the Exodus, all right, the Ten Commandments are in Exodus chapter 20, verse 19, 21, page 64 of the Bible. Wow, Thomas, you knew where the Ten Commandments were by heart. Yeah, I heard Justin talking about it in the IOG Sodor Church. Wow, this is pretty impressive, Thomas. What does it say on here? All right, thou shalt not... Make unto thee any graven image. Alright. People don't know that chapter. Alright. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. You see, people, that is the most important. And the other most important is, Thou shalt not steal. Oh, this is Justin's favorite. Thou shalt not convert thy neighbor's house, thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox. Nor his ass. That's right. And, uh, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Wow. Well, thieves, it looks like your thieving is over. Same with you two hackers. Well, that's my favorite one. Me too, because it has, well, uh, the A word in it. Yeah, it could be. I mean, if you say the ass is in the Bible... Well, don't say it as in the actual a word that adults say. Just, well, if it means like, nor his ox, nor his ass, then that means a donkey. So, yeah. That's what you have to learn, kids! I mean, they say it at church all the time. Well, Thomas, I think we're done here. Yeah, I think we're done. Anyways, thanks for giving me this Bible. But, yeah, you have to give it back the next Saturday, church. Oh, yeah, church is on Saturday. Always remember that, kids. And be a Jew, like us. And this dog, who faces Jerusalem. Hey, Cash, do you face Jerusalem? Sniff this buffer and you say yes. And sniff this buffer and you say no. He said yes. Thomas, he faces Jerusalem. It looks like you're going to live for eternal life, little buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Yeah. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Well, I think we're done here. Yep. Now it's time to show everybody the Ten Commandments. Reliving it in 1220 B.C. Alright. You got this, Thomas. You show them. Okay, thanks. You're welcome, Thomas. Attention, everyone! Attention, everyone! Ah, uh, what do you want, Thomas? Can't you see me and James were watching the Justin and Cash show? The Justin and Cash show! Mm. Hello, Cash! Want some money? <laughs> the 
Justin and Cash out. Mm. Well, we don't have enough time. All right, everybody, get your Bibles and turn to Exodus chapter 20. Ah, I hate this chapter. Well, like it or not, because it teaches you about the Ten Commandments. But is there such thing as the Eleven Commandments? No, there is no such thing. Anyways, I'm going to read the Bible like the, uh, the Reverend. Call me Reverend Thomas. All right, uh, I'm the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out to the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is the heaven above or in hell. That means if you guys don't listen to the Ten Commandments, you go to hell, which is a burning place when you're burned for all eternity, just like a piece of chicken inside of a dog. Well, I don't want that to happen. Yeah, so listen to the Bible. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them, nor serve them, for I am the Lord thy God. I am a jealous God, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children, unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. Yeah, why is God jealous? Is it because that all the other gods that are Christian and Jewish gods, like a Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween God, like? How they did pa polish the idol back then? Uh, why is God jealous? Is he jealous because he doesn't get attention from comparing to the all other gods? Well, uh, I don't know if that's true. But if it was, God will be in this episode right now. So, uh, anyways, let's continue to the Bible. And showing mercy upon thousands of them that love me and keep my commandments. Thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thy God in vain, for the Lord will not hold him guiltiness that taken his name in vain. Oh God, that is the most stupidest thing I have ever heard. Silence! Yes, God. Remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Well... I guess it's on a Saturday, not a Sunday. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord. That means that people say Sunday is the Sabbath, but here's proof. Sa Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Is there an eighth day, G Christian people? Yeah, there's no eighth day. There's no Sabbath on a Sunday. What kind of what kind of world do we live in? There's no Saturday or Sabbath on a Sunday. Because if there was, that would be the eighth day, and the eighth day would be a resting day and worshiping d Satan and Halloween. That's like saying you bought a Trackmaster James, but you did. But you, it came with batteries that are dead. Well, you guys, well, you guys read this chapter in church, so let's just get to this. Honor thy father and thy mother, that the days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God given thee. Well, I have a question. My parents treated me badly. Well, first of all, Dad, you're living in the best place you can be. You're living your life. Your parents are living your life. You should forgive them for what they did to you. It doesn't matter what bad things or good things they did to you. Just forgive them for all the bad things they did. Like normal people. Thou shalt not kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. What does adultery mean? I don't know. Let the parents figure it out. Thou shalt not... Steal, the main purpose of this episode. I, uh, thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. Thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's house. Thou shalt, shalt not cover thy neighbor's wife, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, 
nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Yep, and that's what they should do. And in the name of Jesus, the end. Wow, Thomas, you taught me and all of us a valuable lesson. Always follow God and you'll go to heaven. Amen, Percy. Amen. Dun, 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 dun.